Any particular query? Any question? Yes. I would like to ask about the explanation you've been provided uh, to the song of Bhaktivinoda Thakur. And uh, my, my experience of, of just hearing you and reading before the, uh, the, the translation is that Bhaktivinoda Thakur is a devotee with very particular path, with very particular mood. And is it this mood can we consider a manjari mood? Because Bhakti Vinodur is talking about his beloved Lord, and it proves somehow that he might be the devotee uh, in this bath. Certainly, uh, certainly so. He was experiencing the bhava of his sarupa mm -hmm. from his sarupa level. I fully belong to you. You also, you're also fully belonging to me, my master, beloved master and lord. So, this is this is an experience connecting to his original sarupa level. Mm -hmm. So, yes, Manjari form. Yeah. Yes, unless he attains to that level, he cannot be lovingly claiming that I am wholeheartedly belonging to you, Lord, please understand, please know that, you already know, but still I am lovingly reminding you, mm -hmm. lovingly reminding you and also offering my feelings to you, letting, me, letting you know my feelings, okay, that I fully belong to you. Here is a, here is a loving servitor of you who who is completely owned by you, belonging to you. And so in return you can also be mercifully belonging to me. I have got such intimate love relation with you, beloved relations with you. Because you are my beloved Lord of life. So certainly that such high class experience definitely connected to the experience of Manjari Bhava. Mm. Mm. One, one, one more thing, because uh, that's that's a pretty interesting topic. Of course, very high and elevated, but also I think it's part of Siddhanta. That good understanding of the tradition helps to, to know where we are and which mm. direction we go. So my, my point is that some devotees, they say that uh, Gaudiya, Vaishnava, Siddhanta, they have two things. The Tattva is Krishna's to Bhagavan's fire. That's the statement for all Gaudiyas. And also Bhav is Jaya Radha. Jaya Radha. Jaya Radha. Yes, mm -hmm. But uh, do you think that is there any place, or maybe you know some postponents of Saki Bhav, because there are also some uh, devotees are saying that there is also a place for Saki Bhav and, um, 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 and this mood, this, this feeling for Krishna and Balaram is also present in Sakyaras, yes, Sakyaras, and is also present is, and also prominent in Gaudiya movement. Uh, yes. Could you, could you call All are prominent. Yeah situated in their own respective places, oh, respective positions. Okay. So, yeah. when, we, when we speak about Krishna Tattva, it's not, a, it's not separate from Simati Radharani. Yeah. Because so inter Krishna Tattva, the full-fledged concept of Krishna Tattva is intimately connected with Sri Radha Tattva mm -hmm. too. So, Krishna conception of Godhead cannot be really comprehended, really understood, complete way without understanding this Simati Radha Tattva also inseparably related. Simati Radha Tattva is intimately related. In fact, Sri Krishna Tattva and Sri Radha Tattva together harmonized in one Tattva of the concepts of the absolute good, okay? The supreme absolute good, supreme absolute being, supreme absolute uh, beautiful, mm -hmm. you know, the, the reality, the beautiful, and in the language of Srila Guru Maharaj, okay? So 
in the concept of the supreme absolute divine reality divine being both tattva is uh, is uh, intimately united together so again the nature of relationship is inconceivably simultaneously one and distinct okay you can only have some idea about how this relations both relations the, the relationship between both tattva working is different as well as at the same time non different non different at the same time be different way together simultaneously you can only have some glimpse of that but we cannot fully human brain cannot fully comprehend about the transcendental you know truths so so all are there in their own respective positions in interrelationship intimate interrelationship krishna tattva radha tattva krishna tattva as krishna tattva is fully represented manifested in in the lap of radha tattva similar way simati radha tattva si radhika tattva also fully represented and manifested in the lap of krishna tattva both have been embraced within each other okay that is the holistic that is a holistic view realization of the siddhanta both are embraced within each other and shokha rasa there can be a bit difference of shokha rasa and shokhi bhav Mm-hmm. because the sakhis and manjuris in vrindavan they are female so naturally they have more madhurya rasa bhav mm-hmm. but whereas other some other sakhas of krishna are more in the mood of friendly uh, friendly love you know loving friendship so that is distinct both are distinct mm-hmm. although in in male gender is called masculine gender called shakha shakha Fem, feminine gender called shakhi but because they are damsels of the braj excellently okay they are they are the, uh, all of the eternal because the all the shakhis are the divine damsels in the female body so they naturally they have the nature of their intrinsic love the inner love flow in a more madhurya rasa way rather than only in the mode of friendship nothing more than that not that mm-hmm. okay now there there are exceptions and also specific <coughs> specific uh, space and situations of lila there are some shakhas of krishna very intimately related with krishna knows krishna's heart in and out everything called priya narma shakhas they are very much connected with the madhurya rasa mood mm-hmm. they are just beside not just they are limited they are not just limited within the area of their only loving friendship but much more than they are relating to the level of madhurya rasa priya narma shakha such as subala sidam or other so sidam sudam subala is the leader also connect okay whereas sakhis and manjaris are connecting to radha krishna through their madhurya rasa from radharani's side but from krishna's side also there are priya narma shakhas intimately beloved friends of krishna also connect to the similar or same level of madhurya rasa from from this side mm-hmm. you are very reciprocative and both sides contribute to the divine past times of madhurya rasa by uh, by each other's participation okay by their mutual participations in radha krishna leela mm-hmm. for example getting them united together mm-hmm. arranging their loving union between them so both shak shakhi manjuri as well as priya narma shakha have got the vital roles mm-hmm. okay to play that way so 
Yes. And you know, in the, within the Madhurja Rasa also, <coughs> mood of friendship, the natural mood of friendship also included within. Mm. Okay. So what Krishna's Shakhas have, general and normal Shakhas have, Shakhis already have it because all included within Madhurja Rasa. But the Shakhis have much more than that because they are basically connected with the Madhurja Rasa Sharibi's relationship. So as uh, very similar in case of Priyanarma Shakhas. Okay. Surpassing, surpassing the normal levels of just loving friendship, intense loving friendship for Krishna, they touch, not just touch, they participate in the world of their Madhurja Rasa Sarvish to Krishna and through Krishna to Radha, Rasimati Radharani. Because they are Priyanarma Shakha, no ordinary kind of Shakha in this way. So, right. And are there, and, um, like modern, um, just last, the last question, uh, do you know any proponents of this Priyanarma Sakha Bhav? Do I know? Uh, some some uh, Acharyas. Acharyas who are preaching this mood right now in Gaudiya world, at least in India, because I know that like, we will take per percentage of, of the teaching, mm -hmm. so Gaudiyas are always connected with Manjari Bhav. This is like the, the most common understanding of Gaudiya and um, Sampradaya. But uh, are they, uh, maybe you know, like personally, yes. you know some... <coughs> some are definitely connected with the mode of Priyanarma Shakha. Mm -hmm. Yes. <coughs> Gauriya Vaishnava world, I mean, Gauriya Vaishnava as a whole, on the whole, connected to all kinds of rushes, starting from Shanta, Dasha, Shakha, Patsalla, Madhurja, Sometimes uh, other, okay, other, so other extra seven rasas also on. Mm -hmm. So in their service, I repeat, in their service, the so in the conception of their divine service to divine couple, the all types, all classes of service to all rasas are included. Okay. Not just only Madhurja Rasa, only Manjari Bhav. Yeah. But those who are situated in the pure Rupanuga line of devotion, loving devotion, mostly connected with Manjari Bhav. Okay. So it's like that. But on the whole, there are, there are many, many uh, Gauriya Vaishnavas and devotees also connected to the service of other Rasas. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's the harmonious way of viewing. Okay. And do you know any example of uh, someone uh, being like someone presently uh, preaching uh, Priyanarma Sakas Bhav, like the, the, this kind of mood within Gaudiya tradition in India, for example? Oh, I have to remember. <laughs> I have to remember. <laughs> But if they preach, that is okay, it's mm. quite okay. If it is properly applicable, okay, Priyanarma Shakha mood in relation to Lord Krishna and Radhika. Mm. And if it is appropriately understood and applicable, then it's quite okay. Mm. Because there is already a place, huge world of the relationship between Lord Krishna, beloved, Okay. Beloved friend, as beloved friend, and, and the Priyanarma Shakas. Okay. Between Lord Krishna and his intimate beloved friends. So it's already existent, it's already their world. Okay. Mm -hmm. And that's all? Also there, very much. Okay. Why not? Because some devotees are saying if you. Sokho, Batsalo, Madhur, Jarasho, all three are so prominent in their own respective positions. And many, many Gauriya Vaishnava Acharya is also related, related to all those, you know, all that rasas and services to Radha Krishna. And uh, is uh, your rasa uh, connected with the 
is, is it something intrinsic, natural for the soul that you already have, or you have to develop? You know, so let's say by association with, with the guru. Uh, you know, common, I mean, no, a common important question now going on in the internet. <laughs> oh, yes, <yeah>. very popular. <laughs> it's trendy now. <laughs> trendy. Mm. Jersey, Jersey. Hmm. Find both ways. There is intrinsic nature of particular rasa in the sarupa level, which is already there, which is already represented eternally, cannot be changed. Cannot be changed except for the divine intervention of the sweet will of the divine couple. If they like to promote someone from one rasa to another, so their sweet will reserves all the right. But normally it is unchangeable. Anything which is given in the sarupa as the intrinsic eternal identity of the rasa, it is unchangeable. Okay, normally. And, and Remaining, being, okay, remaining appropriately engaged in the true process of sadhana, practices of Krishna consciousness. Okay, at some point, that intrinsic, the taste of the intrinsic rasa, rasa the taste of the, the inner, very inner taste of the constitutional rasa from the sarupa level, reflects in the heart of the devotee and naturally the devotee feeling some special connection experiencing some special attraction towards the, towards the service of particular rasa he or she develops, cultivates and finally reach that level okay. so therefore the eternal inner okay identity, inner, inner uh, nature of the rasa and its development, both, both are needed. In other words, it's difficult to explain through English. So, having a relationship, a position in the world of the eternal constitutional, okay, Russia in relation to divine couple and cultivating that same in his or her present life okay to reach that level to have that both are required okay sadhana and sadha that's how it is described through the holy scriptures sadhana level of sadhana means cultivation, cultivation of one's spiritual life, a life, devotional life, and sadhana is the goal for which all these cultivations being done to reach the final goal. So clear. Both are required. Okay. So development also there. I have a question about the history. This is a sophisticated thing. Okay, after all we are discussing about some reality of the transcendental world, it cannot be fully comprehended. Okay, suppose I give you an example. When you, are, when, when you have got a high ambition of life, you take a goal, you take a target and goal in your life. Okay, but you are making a start somewhere. Okay, the potent, it is there as a goal of your life, as potential that you can achieve, but you have not yet achieved that. So you have to start from the beginning and keep on cultivation, cultivation, okay, in an appropriate way, and then at some point you reach that goal. You have it. But you don't have it just in the very beginning, immediately, then and there. As soon as you start cultivating, you got, you got everything. It's not like that. Otherwise, there would be no necessity for the whole world of cultivation and sadhana, doing sadhana, cultivation, whether vidhi margo or rago margo. 
when I'm saying sadhana is not meant in vidhi marga only. Don't misunderstand. Sadhana can also take sadhana means cultivation. It can happen in vidhi mark, it can happen in rago mark. So rago marga cultivation also required. Okay, to reach your final goal of your final position of rasha, constitutional position of a particular specific uh, uh, rasha and service in relation to the divine couple. So that is also required. So therefore, de the scope of development is always there. Okay, everybody is not nitya siddha. Those who are nitya siddha associates, their case is different. Okay. Like uh, they are eternally, they are eternal associates, nitya siddha. But that cannot be applied to the jivas who are from the level of, from tatastha level, marginal, level of the marginal potency, who are developing, okay, gradually developing through the cultivations and finally reaching the constitutional okay, position. Okay. So both are there. But in the form of potential way as prospect, also it can be understood it is already there, everything. Not that you are creating in the Sarupa position, it is already there. Your own matchless treasure of Russia, your constitutional, your, your, your Adhikar, okay, your qualification and the, your constitutional taste for your the rush of your own eternal divine self already there in full swing. Okay? But you have been away from that through forgetfulness. You have to achieve that. Already waiting for you. Everything. Not that you are creating all this. It is there for you. You have to go closer to achieve that goal. Once you are there, everything is available to you. All you have everything. Okay? Like Whole life is there, but when you are in a sleeping state, it's a different experience. You are asleep. As soon as you wake up, you can have so many things in life. But you have to wake up. That's the process. Okay, now please. Um, so the technical question. I can understand that maybe, um, like logically speaking, that we, uh, that time really doesn't exist. So the, the distance we create, like it's already there potentially. I understand that. But uh, there is, um, you, you have said that the, uh, those, let's say, um, they are not lower, but let's okay. say there is some kind of gradation of rasas, that those lower las rasas, they are included in the higher ones, whereas the higher aren't included in the lower rasas, yeah? Like there's no one yes. in Rasya or Sakya, yes, yes. Yes, and so on so forth. So is it that uh, on our path, because we can see that in Sadhanavakti, we um, experience predominantly dasyaras actually, not so much when mm -hmm. we are in other rasas. True. Could possibly there could be development, further development from dasha to shakha, including the essence of the mood of dasha, then promotion into shaksha, then from shakha to bhatsala, and then madhurja rasa. So you can know, be, like, kind of. It can. Mm -hmm. Okay. We cannot. We cannot uh, try to fix a rule for that. In other words, there is no hard and fast rule that everyone has to pass through each level of Russia to reach Madhurja Russia level. No. One can also be directly promoted from Dasha Russia. It is possible for a devotee to get, get direct promotion to Madhurja Russia by some special grant of mercy. Mm -hmm. If merciful grant is available. Okay. So, or from Shakha Rasha can be directly promoted to Madhurja Rasha. Okay? But once having the qualification of Madhurja Rasha, then automatically Shakha, Bhatsula are included within. Has to be understood in a mystical way. Okay? Things work there very mysterious, divinely mysterious, mystical way. We cannot fully comprehend okay, how Bhatsula Rasha also found within Madhurja Rasha, an aspect of Madhurja Rasha also represented in Bhatsula. I mean, an aspect of Madhurya Rasa includes the mood of Bhatsala Rasa. Okay? So, only it can be understood through taste, direct, you know, direct experience. It cannot be imagined, really, so much. So, again, 
So it depends on the nature of the progression, of the nature of the taste of a particular sadhaka devotee, how he will be, how he or she is going to be promoted, okay, having an upliftment, prog progressing, whether step by step, dasha to shokha to batsala then madhuja rasa, or can also receive special grant, okay, can, can be directly from dasha rasa level to directly Batsalo and Madhurja or Madhurja Rasho. So all depends on the quality of the sadhana, taste of the devotee and sweet will, mercy of the causeless mercy of the Mahaprabhu and divine couple or their beloved associates. But something we have to remember in our mind. The principles applicable to the Nitya Siddha associates, you know, cannot be applicable in the same way to the jiva, sadhakas. Okay, so what is applicable to them cannot be <laughs> applicable with others. There is difference. Okay, so there is no such hard and fast rule which way the progression or promotion will be taking place. This way, also that way, also another way, because in that world, in the transcendental world of the relationship, in the transcendental world of loving devotional relationship and uh, pastimes, everything is controlled by the sweet will of the law. That is the law. That is the real law in a dynamic way. So the conception of the laws, rules, regulations, laws in Krishna Loka is not just uh, fixed type, not of stagnant type. Oh, this is the rule book, this is the law, or this is it. Cannot be otherwise, no. There is certain structure and structure on Vaidhi level, but the final law, the real law, okay, the, okay, the, how to say, the real law, the final law is the sweet will of the divine cup. The way they wish happens that way, period. Cannot be judged. Why it didn't happen this way, not that way, oh, it's not the system, oh Lord, you are not following the system, no. His flow of his sweet will, of the sweet will is the system there. The Guru Mahārāj called him sweet autocrat. Autocrat, but very sweet, the beloved. And devote his love to receive an autocratic way from their own beloved Lord because though autocrat but very but beloved. So that is that is the law, real law over there. And all other scriptural the, you know, scripture rules, regulations, system, they give us some idea, some good idea about how it may work, may not work, system. Okay, but finally their sweet will is the final law in a dynamic way. Okay. That is the supreme controller of everything. Gaur Haribo. I have another question. <laughs> <laughs> uh, when we study uh, the Gaudiya Vaishnava, Vaishnava movement, or even better, when we study the Chaitanya movement, happened after Sri Krishna Chaitanya left, uh, we know that they've been written not only one or two, his hagiographies, like biographies, uh, books about his life, but they've been at least 18 or even more by different authors during the time. Uh, Biography of Lord Chaitanya? Yes, uh, mm -hmm. starting from Murari Gupta and going to Krishna Das Kaviraj. Yes, Sarup Damodar Krishna, Karcha, Murari Gupta, yes, Karcha, so Sam Bhai Rai, Ramananda, Sam Bhai, yes. other contemporary devotees. Yes, yes. Right. and when we study uh, those books, we know that they will be through the history from uh, Murari Gupta to Krishna Das Kaviraj Goswami, the understanding of position of Mahaprabhu was different and was like this idea who Sri Chaitanya was, was developed 
uh, like we say, by prominent acharyas that time. And they've been just somehow projecting, like implementing their own way of thinking about Mahaprabhu. And some devotees are saying that Krishna Das Kaviraj Goswami's book is like the final word. Whatever you can say about Mahaprabhu is there. But this, it's interesting to know that, for instance, when we start, start from Murari Gupta, and between Murari Gupta and um, Chaitanya Bhagavata by Vishwana Chakravati Thakur, there were some, some movements, some ideas how to perceive Mahaprabhu. And one of them was <coughs> Nadia Nadia Nagara. Nadia Nagari mm. and Nagari, yes, Nadia Nagari. And I've noticed that uh, uh, Vrindavan Dastaku and Krishna Dastaku, they didn't like this idea at all. But when it was prominent, when it was present, it was quite prominent, I would say. There were some, some uh, uh, advocates. Prominent in who? Yeah. Prominent in some devotees in yeah. the circle uh, of uh, Locham. Uh, Nadia. Nadia Nagai. Gaura Nagai. Gaura Nagari. Gaura Nagari Bhav. Gaura, Gaura okay. Nadia. Nagari. I think that they were okay. included. But, but there were some, some, uh, some followers of this understanding. And my question, my question is like, why, if this is one of, as you said, many different ways, many different paths are leading to divine couple, and uh, Mahaprabhu is Krishna and Radha combined together. So it means that uh, the, uh, s the fact that this kind of um, attitude, this kind of approach was present, that why we don't, as Vaishnavas, why we don't respect it? And why Vrindavan Dastakur had a problem, and Krishna Dastakur said that it's completely out of the uh, picture, and now we, 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 don't, we can't find any like, line, like parampara, of devotees who have been following this mode, for instance. I'm not saying it's the best one, but it's one of many. Like, and this Gaudi Award was, was like very, very interesting and dynamic in the ways even of understanding who Mahaprabhu was. So what happened? Is it similar to all different movements, religious movements, that at one moment in history you are saying this is right and this is wrong, and you have to decide and and maybe maybe dry out some ideas and maybe just uh, cut them off from the mainstream? What happened actually? Why? Why was wrong? <laughs> Did you ask the same question to other acharyas came here? <laughs> No, 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 because no. you are from, you are from, that's your background, I thought you might be, you might be from here. Yes, some rumors along Bengal. Rumors, <laughs> rumors. <laughs> what happened? Maybe. This is a very touchy, touchy question. Yeah, I know. And the nature of answer will also be very touchy type. Okay. Therefore, I'm asking, maybe first you ask others and see. What kind of answers you receive, then I will answer. Okay. We, we, actually, um, what is our mood, uh, we really safe, you know. We, so you can just be honest with us. I can, I can, we, not, I, we are not looking for any challenge or... or not, uh, I can truthfully answer, but they might be yes. controversial and misunderstood by some so sex. We just switch off the camera. camera. 